Hey guys, this is the second of two videos in a series on how to make your own acapellas in Ableton Live using some of Live's tools and tricks. If you didn't catch the first video on using the EQ8 in mid-side mode, then uh, definitely check that out. It's linked from this video, easy to find. So in this video, we've already got uh, a piece here, uh, a full track, and we're isolating the vocal using the EQ8 in mid-side mode. So listen to what we have so far. I was younger. I was just too young to tell my older brother. All right, so we've got a pretty well isolated vocal, but we're just looking for another technique to take it to the next level. So normally when creating acapellas, what I would use is a gate. I would take uh, Ableton's gate plugin. Where are you? There we go. And I would adjust the threshold and then release time and hold time of the gate so that I could just maybe get it triggered after the EQ by the vocal part. I was just too young to tell my older brothers. But you see we have some real problems in this because there's so much mid-frequency content in this track that's conflicting with the vocal. So every time that big heavy snare hits, it triggers the gate, so it's not really going to give me the effect that I'm looking for. So we're not going to use a gate. We're going to use instead Ableton's multiband dynamics plugin. And this one I think is uh, uh, it's a relatively complicated deep plugin. And I, I don't think a lot of people end up using it as a result. Um, I don't usually use it very much myself because I don't like multiband compression for the most part. But I'm not going to use this as a multiband compressor. I'm actually going to use this for its expander capabilities. This is a dynamics plugin, not just a compressor. So it actually has the ability to act as an expander as well. I'm not going to go into detail on what expansion does, but I prefer downwards expansion to a gate in cases like this. And I actually learned this technique from another, another Ableton trainer. His name's Jake Perrine. And uh, he runs the Ableton users group out of Seattle. He's a, a, an ace uh, wizard audio producer and a mastering engineer. And he was recently visiting me up in Vancouver and showed me this. So kudos to, uh, to you, Jake. Thanks so much for this technique, brother. I'm gonna pass it on here. And basically what we're gonna do is we have three bands low, mid, and high, and we can control where their crossover points are. So I can I can increase the crossover point to the low band if I want to. And we're going to put it in B, or below mode, which means that when we adjust each one of these thresholds here, any of the auto, audio material that is below this amount is going to be affected. So if we play the tune, I was younger. you'll see we have little meters that come up and show us the level of each one of the bands. So what I'm going to do is I want to reduce any low frequency content that's still coming through. I was and you'll see that the low frequency content I is coming to about here, and my band or threshold is uh, adjusted up here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna control the ratio settings. And I'm gonna put this on one, and I'm gonna drag this downwards rather than up, okay? I'm gonna drag it downwards to 0.25 which means it's activating what's called downward expansion, meaning that anything that falls below this is gonna be expanded downwards or reduced in volume. And you'll hear this immediately. I was younger. I was you'll see that the orange bands here, uh, as far as its amplitude of the signal are being reduced. So what this means is any signal that's underneath this threshold is gonna be reduced by basically four to one. So it's reducing that low frequency content, which I already know that we don't want. Now I'm going to do the same thing for our mid band, and I'm gonna drag this around to get the, the level right here and just eyeball it. I was younger. I was just too young. And what I'm looking for is to set this at exactly the point where the vocal goes over it, but the guitar and everything else stays below it. And now I'm gonna activate this into 1 to 0 0.25 mode again. So it means that the vocal is going to peak over top, which means it'll be unaffected. And everything else that's below that, in between when the vocal is coming on, the guitar, the snare, things like that, is going to be squished down and reduced in volume, which I want. So it's not as harsh as the gate, it's not eliminating the sound, and it's frequency specific. So it doesn't tr get triggered by the bass, for example. So let's listen to what effect this has had on our signal. I was younger. I was just too young to tell my older brothers. They knew me way too 
So we can still see the snares popping over it, but everything other than the snare is actually being reduced in volume. Now we'll have to play around with some of the settings to get it so it doesn't sound super choppy. And that's where you can activate this section here called Time. And you can play around with its release settings and its attack settings and things like that. We're not going to cover that today, but I wanted to show you how some of these frequency bands could be used to selectively cut out and soften and reduce in volume content on a, a ratio and threshold basis. So let's just have a listen to exactly what we've done so far. I'm going to actually put these together in a group into an audio effect rack so we can just deactivate and activate the entire thing. So let's listen to the tune before and after we did all of this processing on it. I was younger. I was just too young to tell my older brothers. So quite a quite a big difference. Now, one last thing I'll show you guys is if you find this effect is too obvious or or just uh, cuts out too much of the frequencies, one last thing that I would recommend doing here is showing the chains area. And we're going to rename this and call this wet because that has our effects. Then I'm going to right click in this area and I'm going to create a new chain which is called dry or bypass. And this chain is going to let the entire signal through because it has no effects on it. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to activate the chain mode here, chain selector, and I'm going to drag both of these guys out and I'm going to create like a wet dry mix between these guys. I'm going to take this little top blue bar here which is a crossfader effectively and I'm going to crossfade that all the way down. I'm going to take the tiny little light blue bar on the bottom Oops, it's hard to get sometimes. There we go. And you'll see now this is going to be 100% dry. And when I drag this up, it's going to create a mix between the dry and the wet channels so I can fade between it. And this will give me a softer way to move between these two effects. So here's dry. I was younger. I was just too young to care my older brothers. And there's our a cappella version. So we can really smoothly, seamlessly move between them and you can control exactly how much of that um, downwards expansion and extreme EQing that you want to create in your mix. So that should give you some fantastic tools to be able to rip out some of your own a cappellas. And uh, I'm Vespers, would welcome you guys to come back to my site, vespers.ca. I've got lots more tutorials, a free ebook on Ableton, and lots of other free music and juicy goodies on the site. So would love to see you back there. If you have any questions, please don't uh, hesitate to comment on the videos. Um, I find it hard to keep up with private messages, so uh, my preferred way of responding to you guys would be comments. Or if you have a question, fire that over on my Facebook page. It's just facebook.com forward slash Vespers page. It's a lot easier for me to answer questions for you guys in a group setting where you guys all get to benefit from them rather than personal messages, private messages, because I get way too many of those to keep up with. So would love to hear your feedback and answer questions. Um, just would encourage you guys to do that via the comments field on the video or back on the Facebook page. Have a great day or night, wherever it is for you guys, and talk to you real soon. Take care.